after nine years of being on the stock intake manifold, it's time for me to upgrade. Say goodbye to this fine Toyota engineering and say hello to my new setup. I believe these are S62 ITVs. Adapter plate from Dingus himself. Even with like 3D printed throttle linkage. I want to say these throttles are 52 mil. Can't get a good measurement here because of the coupler. About 52 millimeter for the intake. So these throttles will bolt up to the plate, which will bolt up to the engine. But I can't have the stock engine management run these ITVs. Power FC. Power FC Game Boy for reference. So I had to go with a full standalone Link ECU and a Panic Harness. As I've been working a lot, I decided to treat myself to this harness. Like I did the wiring for this and kind of a mess here. Look at that. I mean, it's been running for nine years, but there's a lot of funny things going on here. What's paired with this harness is this ECU link. I will figure out what goes where, but this looks like a water temp sensor. This looks like an air intake sensor. This looks like it could be fuel pressure or oil pressure pressure sensor and then I'm guessing the map sensor is built in here we have a plug right here at the ECU well let's take apart this perfectly good running car well, I got the ECU back in December and I got the adapter plate for the ITVs back in March so it is now June it's taken me three months All right first things first they got the battery. Like I said, we're going to try to put back any hardware. We removed their pocket screwdriver. Okay. And then you pull out and remove this for your Power FC Game Boy. Okay, so I got pretty much injectors off, oil pressure sensor, and then cam angle, VVTI intake and exhaust, this little radio resistor, which was really hard to get to. So now I got to take off the throttle body. Oh God, the old two. Okay. This off. Here's that bracket I was talking about. So now we got to take off this adapter plate. Okay. Dingus engineering plate. I mean, they look pretty port matched. I don't see any big steps. Okay, so looking at this, these things sit pretty low. We're gonna have to reroute this fuel line, reroute this little coolant box, swirl pot. Okay, so I took off the intake manifold and ITB setup. That's because I'm planning on port matching one side and I have to roll out this car even though it's a million degrees outside to get these quick jacks to get under my car and to lift it up and get the reverse wiring and transmission speed sensor harness off i was tempted to cut it off but i have to plug the new one in Well, 
two things i could reach under the car now and i don't have to crouch real low to work on this thing could have done this earlier okay good news besides having the car out and having this table here for more workspace because i definitely messed this up i got most of the harness out and one thing i just have to go through is this mill spick plug that i put in there's pin outs to the cluster and fuel pump so i just have to figure out what's what on here this is a ground oh my god that's a lot of wiring i mean this wiring has lasted me nine years and three or four motors even but it's time to move on to this after making the biggest coolant mess ever i made this hard line just using this coil of hard line and a bender and i've really cleaned it up here um, the linkage was catching up on these lines so i'm going to try to tuck this up against the firewall just a little better okay, so while i'm here as you can see, these throttles are not port matched. So what we're gonna do is port match them. Usually you should have like some die cam or marking fluid. Just gonna use this marker. Get that back on. So what we're gonna do is just get this inscribed. Did the best I could and if you notice a lot better there's a taper in each port I'm gonna chop this a little shorter some things here I cut this bolt a little shorter cut the flange off of it just fits with enough thread engagement all right so I have this tightened down and I sort in the fuel line and clutch line so it's free of the linkage on the bond. Definitely got it in the port. Okay, these bolts are six by one, 20 mil long. All right, now. I can play with the throttle. Got to take off the assembly to uh, get the throttle linkage on. Got a little bit of rust holding these suckers in. I gotta sand down all this pitted stuff. This vacuum block will not work with this linkage. We're gonna take it off. Then I got these button heads. Should be just a little longer. Haven't used a normal L wrench in a while. Cable bolts on here. Loops around down into here. Yep, 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 yep. This has this cutout for this specifically. You know things are getting serious when you got all the bins out. All the bins of junk are out. I find some brake line, which is about five mil. I tried tapping it with a putting a die on there, a six by one. 
if I had a 5 by 0.8 tap or die, I would definitely use it. Obviously, you got to clean off all this gunk. Okay, here it is. All clamped up. Snug. We're going to let that set for a little before we put it on the throttles. I know for a fact this is oil pressure. Okay, so I got most of the harness just mocked up here. All right, nothing's really clicked. It's just kind of chilling. Everything's... Where I think it needs to be. All four injectors, VVTI solenoid, um, water temp. This is a two prong. He gave us a Toyota three prong. This lead taps into the starter. This is a 30 amp fuse. This is how everything gets power. Very genius. Alternator plug. Starter solenoid, which I have it tapped into my original harness for that. Only thing I need to make a charge harness. So I'm thinking about just jumping the starter wire to the alternator. All right, so part of the issue of having individual throttle bodies is there's no vacuum, right? There's no plenum. No vacuum for a brake booster. So we're going to delete it. And to take place of the brake booster, I have this nicely machined part that's offset for more fulcrum. Struggling underneath my driver's seat, I finally dug this out. All right, so I got these OEM O-rings. Let's get these back on the car. All right, so got most of the wiring squared away. I got to figure out the TPS on this. I ran a fuel line. I grinded off the crimp and just put this hose on. So it's routed around. Only thing that would hit is this. To be continued. <laughs> 